Hey guys, I know it's pretty late um, and the camera quality right now is not very good. You can see kind of like a little line streaking across the screen. Um, this is basically the quickest way I'm going to be able to upload this to YouTube at this hour since uh, I don't want to deal with my flip video and my iPad is uh, out of juice. So this is basically the next best thing is the quickest way to upload. So bear with me but I just want to talk about all of the recent news so far in the past three days unbelievable stuff going on, uh, going on unbelievable stuff Monday Boston Marathon bomb and the mystery is still to this day almost entering its third day now Thursday officially unsolved police say that well we're just looking for two suspects that have been identified we just we're trying to look for them I mean it's just you know, press conference, oh, we're going to have a press conference canceled. Courthouse got evacuated today, earlier on Wednesday, actually. It's now Thursday, but Wednesday, courthouse evacuated. Police scanners going off like crazy. More fear in Boston. Conspiracy theories flying off the charts. Just, um, you know, there's something new with conspiracy theories every day. I mean, believe what you want to believe, I guess. I'm not going to sit here and argue and say anything more about that. So there's Boston. At this hour, there is a much bigger story that is now that has now occurred, and that is out of uh, Waco, Texas, near Waco, Texas, in the town of West. It's a small little community. Uh, only you know, I don't know, maybe just a few thousand people. And a fertilizer plant exploded, and people say it felt like a nuclear blast. It could be felt dozens of miles away in their homes. Um, at this hour, it's confirmed that only two people have been killed, and at least 150 injured. And um, it has also leveled dozens of homes in the area, and has led to the evacuation of about 2,800 people. And but authorities do expect the deaths to soar within the next few hours. Very sad situation going, going on over, over there. You, uh, the U.S. Geological Survey said it measured out of 2.1 magnitude seism, uh, seismic event. 2.1 magnitude seismic event. You know, it's almost it's like you know, earthquake strength. Um, fire officials fear that the number of casualties could rise as high as 60 to 70 dead says Dr. George Smith, the Emergency Management System Director of the city. And that's a really rough number, he says. I'm getting that figure from firefighters, but we don't know yet. Uh, we have two personnel that are for sure dead, and there may be three firefighters that are also dead. Um, early in the Thursday morning, firefighters painstakingly combed through houses, many reduced rubble. I'm reading this off a CNN article, by the way. Uh, it's massive, just like Iraq, just like the Murrah Federal Building in Oklahoma City, said D.L. Wilson of the Public Safety Department. What caused the explosion of the West Fertilizer Company was not immediately known, but its location next to an apartment complex, a nursing home, and a middle school did not help matters. Well, duh. The plast stripped the apartment complex with 50 units of its walls and windows. It was like just a skeleton standing up, Wilson said. The nursing home with 133 residents was quickly evacuated. Fireball in the sky. If you went to RT.com, that's the Russia Today website, you can see the pictures, incredible pictures that were taken at the scene by residents. Uh, the West Fertilizer Company said it had 54,000 pounds of the chemical, the Dallas Morning News reported. Just incredible. Very sad. What a hectic week. Boston ricin and mail to a u.s senator and then to obama possibly to other elected officials they arrested that guy though wednesday night some guy in mississippi so they solved that mystery i guess but there's still more developments out of there on that one still nothing clear about the boston bombing still that that is a mystery that is yet to be solved like i said police are just saying oh yeah we've we have Two people that have been identified and we're looking for them, but no arrests have been made. So, wow. 
Alrighty, guys. Oh, and also, I'm not done yet. There was some good news about the anti-gun legislation getting voted down in the Senate on Wednesday. However, today is now Thursday. There's going to be a vote on CISPA. If you remember CISPA, which is basically um, a form of internet censorship in the name of national security. That's how they love doing everything. In the name of cybersecurity. Censorship through the name of cybersecurity. That is up for a vote again. It has now reared its ugly head once again um, in this session of Congress. And there will be a vote on it in the House of Representatives. Congressman Justin Amash of Michigan said on his Facebook page that since today is his birthday, that is his birthday wish, and that is to strike CISPA down. I will make a video about uh, CISPA later on, later on in probably like late morning, talking about it. Make sure to call your congressman to vote against it. Do what you can about it. So just crazy stuff right now. All right, guys. Um, give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Have a good night, and we'll see. Man, this this week is just ongoing. I don't recall ever a week like this that has been so hectic, and there's been a new crazy story one day after the next. One crazy story after the next, and then you throw politics into it about guns, immigration, all those other stories in the mix. Just makes for a hectic week. And I have not stopped paying attention to it since Monday morning. Haven't stopped. I mean, I do not remember a week like this. So crazy. It's like almost as if all hell is broken loose. So, all right.